Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this little Mustang update to show you some of the non-demanding time that I'm doing with her, but also a little bit of just how much closer our bond is. Because the next video that I share with my Mustang is gonna be something completely unexpected involving a snowstorm. So the parts that I'm showing you here really show how much more comfortable she is around me, really relaxed, wants to be in my presence. So this is me just mucking out her field because that's what I do is I just keep it clean and instead of running to the other side of the field or just hanging out far away from me she chooses to be close to me she chooses to be curious and confident and this is what I call non-demanding time because I'm not asking her to do anything in particular and even if she comes closer to me I'm not trying to pet her uh, like I'm not trying to sneak in a touch or something like that I'm just doing my own thing muck in the paddock and kind of moving around and she gets curious and she wants to come close she'll get out of the way if I'm you know obviously moving the pitchfork and towards the wheelbarrow and I'm careful not to hit her with poop or something like that but she just kind of follows me around watches me on both sides and chooses to take part which is really awesome it's kind of like how horses are out in the paddock where they just hang out with each other they spend a lot of time beside each other sometimes grooming and sometimes literally just standing near each other even if it's not eating sometimes they're just hanging out close by and I love that's that's kind of what's going on here and she's curious you can see she's sniffing in the wheelbarrow she's like checking on my progress she's like all right that's good you put one in there she's like yep okay that's another one in <laughs> it's um it's pretty cute but she's just wanting to be around me and I think this really shows a great shift in her her awareness of me and her comfort of being with me with all of the the little sessions that I've been doing and that's the other super neat thing is that um, this particular time having a Mustang I'm trying to make a pretty consistent effort of coming out almost every day but I definitely usually miss the weekends because the weekends are usually just family time for me and um, so it's usually more of a Monday to Friday thing but of course if the weather's too bad or if it's too cold or something then I then I don't go out but I try to come out uh, on the weekdays however the sessions are usually pretty short like max 15 minutes or so is all I'm spending doing a session with her and then it's a little bit topped up with something like this where I'm coming out and I'm mucking her her paddock which is a time to just kind of bond and then if I am going to touch her I do something a little more like this where I stand in her presence I make it very clear what my intent is to do I'm, I'm standing there, I'm kind of watching her eyes and her ears, all of those little pieces for communication. So I'm not just, you know, trying to touch her sneakily as I walk by with the wheelbarrow. I'm much more intent with my body language because I want her to know that she can trust me. And part of that trust has to know with knowing my intentions, knowing what it is that I'm going to do. And we've built up a lot of trust with me respecting the thresholds and how I use what I call the boomerang approach, which is kind of like an uh, approach and retreat. Kind of a neat moment there where she turns to, to look at me. It's a nice soft moment. And the more in detail uh, videos that kind of show more of my sessions and the progress that we're working on are all in the Connection Club. So if you haven't checked it out so far, go to HarmonyHorsemanshipAcademy.org and you can see the Connection Club there which has all of my um, Mustang training progress videos that explains a little bit more in detail and all of the, the little pieces that I'm doing. And then here I'm just enjoying showing you guys some of the highlights and uh, a lot of the progress along the way and you can really see in her body language how relaxed she is and accepting of me in her presence she's checking in with me looking at me hasn't even sort of shifted her body language away from me which is all super um super rewarding and shows a lot of uh, great progress there and then here's just another little clip where i'm at the muck uh mucking and doing the wheelbarrow stuff and she could be further away and this shows you like there's her hay in the background she's definitely got more room in her paddock but instead of you know going further away from me she chooses to come closer and sniff at things and she chooses to be 
in my presence and to come over and check out the wheelbarrow and just kind of be part of like, oh, hey, like Lindsay's with me. Um, what you doing today? And, and choosing to just be around. And I love seeing that curiosity come through because curiosity can be a sign of feeling more confident. Sometimes it has to do with their personality and some of us can be more curious than others. But a big part of it, especially in the Mustangs, is just seeing them transition from being fearful and skittish and flighty and thinking everything's going to eat them to all of a sudden, like, oh, I can be curious about my surroundings. So I hope you guys are uh, excited for her journey too, and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out HarmonyHorsemanship.com for even more learning.